Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at Jimmy Neutron, and probably someone else. I'll probably make it up on the fly, because I don't know. But I do want to talk about Jimmy Neutron. Um, this is one of the characters that they showed off right in the beginning for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, because it was highly requested, I'm guessing, from the first game, since people do really like Jimmy, and the other one, Timmy. But Timmy's not in this game, for now, maybe. So we'll see what the DLC characters, when they do come out, and maybe if this game sells pretty good, Maybe they'll add even more DLC characters, which, you know, could happen if you guys get this game. Which I'm hoping, at least I've been able to persuade just a couple people to maybe play it. And maybe the people that are watching are already are planning to play it. So, again, leave down who you're going to play. But I'm going to look at Jimmy Neutron today. And probably someone else. Cause I, I like doing two per video, since you basically can. Since he's only two minutes long. I do do a bunch of yapping. So let's just get started. Jimmy Neutron. The boy genius makes his way into Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 as a defensive zoner wielding all sorts of fantastic inventions, including... Yeah, that's the scary part about him. Let me turn this up because this is like sh fucking quiet as hell. Um, he's a zoner. I don't know if you heard that. Let's just go back a little bit. As a defensive zoner wielding all sorts of defensive fantastic inventions. Defensive zoner. Zoner characters are such a mid-character always play. And it, it depends on how they make them, right? Right now, it looks like he has a lot of long range. Like, look at that. Uh, little projectile has little spring boots. Probably showed. Oh, this, this is fucking insane. Looks like a lot of disjoints, a lot of really far-reaching moves. Um, I, I maybe with like his specials, maybe he'll be a lot shittier. But depending on how they made him, if they made him like uh a little bit harder to play, then they made his own character balance. But if they made this guy like cheesy. Jesus Christ! Online is gonna be stupid. Watch laser, an all-purpose toaster, the super bumper mobile, that intelligent purple insane. flip rocket launcher, and many more. <laughs> uh, rocket launcher. Jimmy's most noteworthy invention is, of course, his beloved robot companion Goddard, who can. I never watched this show, but I swear to God, I've seen that somewhere. Be summoned with down special, and once active, can be controlled by oh, again I think it was just down special. Maybe just some. If previews. you choose to let him keep running, he'll explode on contact with the opponent. Goddard will be destroyed after taking a bit of damage, so try to keep All him right. close. That's, that's a fair trade. It doesn't look like he's built out of fucking titanium. Goddard can fly around with the control stick, shoot lasers with the charge attack button, chomp with the regular attack button, and even be dropped Jesus. on enemies' heads by holding down and again pressing the regular attack button. Damn, this character is literally just a second character within Jimmy. You have to learn two characters to play one. So he can chomp, he can shoot lasers. It looked like he the did two jumps. And even be that was like that's the hard chunk. Where's the where's chomp the normal the regular yeah. attack button? So this one's far reaching. This one's up close. And even Damn. be dropped on enemies' heads by holding down and again. <laughs> and drop on enemies' heads. Just be careful to remember that while you're controlling Goddard, Jimmy himself will be stationary and vulnerable. But all you have to do to switch back is again press the special button. You'll also immediately be forced Damn, back to that... if he starts taking damage. Ooh, you already know. I. I... Like the buzzer, someone's gonna play this. Someone that's very technical with their characters, and they're gonna be fucking goaded, dude. You already, I already can tell that probably some Jimmy's out there just gonna spam this boy out, and just try to do random shit with them, or just be annoying, honestly. As for his I other gadgets, it. Jimmy's neutral be is a rocket launcher Here's that lets a, you program a series of inputs into the rocket's trajectory, meaning Damn. whichever directions you press while charging the rocket, that's the direction the rocket will travel. <sighs> okay, that's that's a lot fair. If we had to take uh, one from Smash, Snake, and his little, like, missile, guided missile, you get to move that shit while it's going. So you can actively try to hit someone with it if they're trying to recover. This is a lot more fair. You have to pre-program the rocket for them, for it to actually be shoot out, and then it'll just go in some wacky-ass path. That's, I, I find that very fair. That's very nice. That's really cool, too. I like that. It, it doesn't make it feel like, because if people can spam it, but they would have to, like, actually understand where maybe they would go. I could see, like, a little fake-out situation. Like, maybe you shoot it, like, this way. Someone's coming up this way. They're going to jump over. So you just send it right up. And it fucking blams them. And I don't, I don't know what Jimmy has. If all that neuron activation is too complicated, you send out Goddard. don't worry. Jimmy has plenty of fancy mm. tricks without Goddard. Jeez, look at all those moves. Everything here just it's has. It just hits from afar. We got whatever this little acid pool. This fucking, this thing right here. Then, Jesus, where's the fucking hand? Did I pass it right? That. And then, this is, that's pretty far. That's not, like, not the farthest. Little bat. 
little plant, grounded light forward, a lot of everything. Light forward are fantastic for slapping opponents away. And the Super Bubble Gun Mobile covers his entire body with an active hitbox. That looks it a very crazy. very difficult attack to challenge, and a great one to throw out if you get overwhelmed or have trouble landing. Huh. To touch on one of Jimmy's weaknesses, his recovery is rather average, being pretty slow and vulnerable overall since the up special doesn't have a hitbox. That is nowhere near average. It's average maybe if you're going from like down here, but if you're like up here or even up there, that is actually pretty good to get back. It's a little predictable, yeah, but you get to free root. You can free range that shit. So like someone could try to do a heavy right here. You go back a little bit, come back in. You know what I mean? Like a little fake out. You just go onto the edge if you want. Like that Overall, does not seem average. Have a hitbox. If you have your jump, forward, oh okay, you can no use hitbox that during the up special, and then up special again if you'd like. And don't forget, you can always slime cancel. And you can wait. What? You can up special again? Special again if you'd like. And if you have your jump, however, you can use that during the up special, and then up special again if you'd like. And you can jump out of it. That's not bad at all. I don't know who I don't know who the fuck this guy is talking about, but it's obviously not Jimmy because that's not average. If you have a jump still, you can you can just jump out of it. I don't, what could you do out of there? I don't know. I need I would need to see like Jimmy's air moves. They didn't really show those off too well. But that that doesn't seem bad at all. You can do the bubble thing. You can do the fucking what the chew the bubble gum thing. Yeah, if you're like up here, you can just fucking jump and then go slamming. I think, right? I, I feel like you Don't would. Forget, you can always slime cancel. That is not or you crazy. Got it as a way to provide that is coverage. that's fucking great. This all only someone's killing himself like that. <laughs> someone's gonna someone's gonna see this trailer and they'll be like, oh yeah, that's super cool. And eventually, when they actually try to play them, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, let's try that. Let's, let's try that. So Goddard be right here, fucking slam. Also, Goddard's like right behind his ass. Patrick is a fucking moron if he doesn't realize that this could be a potential problem. But. Someone's gonna try to do it and then forget how to switch back or some shit, and he's just, just gonna send Jimmy down to die. Use Goddard as a way to provide cover. This all only you could have just took him out with him. Of what might be possible with Jimmy, so it's up to you to hop in the lab, run. Yeah, look at that, dude! I cannot wait to see these attorneys. You already know some insane Jimmy players gonna be out here. What might be possible with Jimmy? Grab looks so it's insane. Up to you to hop in the Fucking lab, send that run some experiments good boy and down. show off all the tech that you've discovered. None of it's like super true, but. Damn. Yeah, Jimmy looks fire, dude. I'm not willing to learn him instantly. That takes too much of my, like what he said, neuron activation to actually want to learn him. They didn't show any costume of his. That kind of sucks. But they showed off the stage. This stage looks cool. I really like how it's just a big little platform. Well, like you're small as this is big. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, Jimmy, that looks fire, dude. Uh... I could see him definitely being a nuisance. I really love, again, the rocket launcher not being something you can control during it is very cool. Only because it le makes it less spammy and less viable to just stand back, stay away, and send shit out. I like that a lot. And I feel like Jimmy's not... He seems like he's pretty balanced. I don't think he's going to be that zoner that people are going to hate seeing all the time because you know they're just going to stay back and just shoot shit. Obviously, he's going to be weak. So... Yeah, I think the bubble's a little, it's probably going to be a little bit of a problem. I get ready to see people probably just trying to spam that and get you up to a percent to just die to something fucking, like it's one of his heavy attacks, which I also don't think they showed. They didn't show any heavy attacks of his. He saw a lot of fucking moves they didn't show. But, yeah. I, I'll probably make, I'll probably play him a bit, but I probably won't learn him until a little while later of the game. Until I get my main set, maybe. And then I'll have him, like, as my fucking just random pick just fucking pull them out whenever but yeah let's go on to the next one which i still don't know maybe but you know we'll do ren and stimpy because it's another character with um two and one so let's go look at ren and stimpy all right here we are ren and stimpy another character with two and one yeah you see how i make that up right on the spot i'm super good um ren and stimpy uh this this cartoon is fucking crazy i don't know if you guys ever watched it probably not it's a pretty old show i never watched it i've only seen clips of it his hand looks fucked up but the main thing is, there's a character with two and one. In the first game, they would work together. Ren's always Ren's the little one, and then Stimpy's the big guy. But um, they would work together. They had some moves that they would both do. It's like one would attack the front, one would attack from the back. And I'm hoping they still keep that type of dynamic here. But let's just take a look. Also, costume fire. 
Hey everyone. A little weird. This is Cody. It wasn't. Today it doesn't we'll look fully finished. Brendan Stimpy, who have once again joined forces to throw down. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I love their animations. Brendan Stimpy's moves. This is even better. They had the Awuga. Awuga. They had it in the first one as their heavy attack, but this one looks like a light. So that came out really fast. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> no. Let me see it. There we go. Look at that. He took one from um, Rocco's page from the first game because they they look the exact same. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. Ren and Stimpy's moveset and design has been completely refreshed. Yeah, there it was again. Oh, they still got the suicide spike. Controlling space hey, you can slime out of it though. High air Sick. Slow projectile and solid range. Oh, whoa! The log just like knocked off. Wait, the the log the log knocked off his fucking forehead. <laughs> it doesn't die immediately. Man, I'm super happy they really changed how the projectiles works. Every projectile and Nick one felt like the same thing, just kind of polished or just repainted. But um, the log actually knocks off, and I'm guessing it just bounces this way for a little bit. That's super cool. Yeah, that's super solid nice. Range. And again, I literally like how visual they look. And size. So just as you think you can attack them for hitting your block or for missing an attack in front of you, that's a super they cool can costume. Their way right back to safety, potentially turning the situation in their. Oh yeah, look at that. The log. The log setup right there, that's insane. I really like that costume. Look, they still got this move here. I don't know if Ren also did the little kick, but that's funny. Right back to safety, potentially turning the Epic. situation I love in this. their favor. Their neutral special, Log, Another sick costume. They already showed off basically style. all of them. The log they did show off all of them. And can be thrown I think they only have four in this game. Based on how you hold the control stick Everyone. After pressing the special button. Okay. Lobs the log high into the air. Oh, they made it. They made it like Gordo. You can just Down is angle. A toss that stays That's close to the ground, super nice, and honestly. Neutral slash horizontal is somewhere in between. The slime version of this move can't be angled, but the log oh, is they got a humongous ass log. Bigger. And that one breaks in As for the against the attacks, unless that's just because it's off stage, but I don't think so. I think that one actually just breaks. A, great way to any a vehicle? Or return to the stage. I'm hoping it's not like uh, Hugh Neutron from the first game. Hugh's motorcycle felt so weird because it would go so fast, and you would have to turn before like you would take like one like if you're like right here, and you went this way, you would have to turn right here for it to end at the end of the stage and then turn back. It was super annoying. Next up, so wait, down people special, just use it a projectile instead of using it. counter that builds up a meter, which keeps track of how much damage they block. All right, counter. They, uh, they kept the their counter. Uh, it looks like they uh, made it the toe symbol. Is it? It looks like it to me. Which at least Power Toast Man is here in some way. Also, these are the profile pictures from the first game, or the render pictures. The meter is expended through a I'm hoping they blast maybe change it a little bit. Finally, for their up special, Stimpy Not a big deal. Big red button on the history eraser. <laughs> a massive explosion that sends them flying upwards. Oh, that's cool. So they keep their like big ass um up B, but they just change what it looks like. While Ren and Stimpy don't necessarily have the best speed or oh, power, tongue. they have plenty of ways to get themselves out of danger and create chaos on the battlefield. Uh do we see anything cool in here? Nothing really. We get a look at more at the stage. This is pretty cool. A little Viking Squidward. Also, in case you haven't noticed, during some moves like their light down or forward attacks, both Ren and Stimpy are capable of hitting their opponents with different. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what I was talking about in the beginning. Uh, they have two different like they two they do two different things. So they kept it like that. I'm happy about that. I love how Ren looks, bro. He looks fucking crazy. Both Ren and Stimpy are capable of hitting their opponents with different knockback angles and power. In general, okay. during these types of attacks, Ren will knock opponents away a bit harder, while Stimpy keeps opponents closer and positions them better for combos. You see, I like that. That's super cool. I'm hoping someone that, like, maybe a professional who plays Ren and Stimpy, I would really love to see someone that, honors, like, uses Ren and Stimpy in a way, where, like, they set up Ren because they know that's probably more beneficial for knockback, and then people use Stimpy for pulling in. Um... Because I don't, I don't know, I don't really see much clips. You don't really see much clips of Nickelodeon Star Bro 1. So I'm hoping with this game being a lot more refined and looking fucking amazing that more people can play and more clips can be shared around and more people can learn these characters' dynamics. If you're a fan of a more defensive nice. style of play, then Ren and Stimpy are the pair for you. Thanks oh, for I just... watching and stay tuned for more character spots. <laughs> Damn, bro. Let us know who you're most excited to play in Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. Damn, he just fucking blew up the world. I just realized they also didn't show the super for Jimmy. So that's another one that's just kind of fucking hidden. Bro, if you don't end the game like this, 
What even is this for, dog? <laughs> they blew up the fucking world. It's really non existent anymore. Damn. Alright. So those were Jimmy and fucking Run and Stimpy. I don't know how I almost forgot. And Coney did this one. Nice. Yeah, I, I really like them. And if I had to say where they would be placed on maybe a tier list, just, you know, before we actually see them in-game and used and used by professional players, I want to say Ren and Stimpy maybe like an A tier. They look like they can do a lot. And again, I think if someone gets really good at understanding that Stimpy pulls in and then um, Ren pushes back a lot more, I feel like he could. they could be really fucking scary. Also, why is this trending? <laughs> the FBI? Oh my god. And then Jimmy, I can easily see as an S tier. If you're able to learn and set up positions and shit like that, like easily could be an S tier character. But we'll see. We'll see. We got, we still got a lot of characters to go through. And the game's coming out in like two weeks. So, hope you guys enjoy these videos. I enjoy like reacting to these just because I have a lot of opinions. Because I really do love fighting games. And um, here I can just show you off with some new tweets real quick. Uh, they look. They looks like they did a lot for the camera angles. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they show off Jenny and Donatello again. Looks like Donnie's gonna be a fucking menace in this game. And then, yeah, the game release. Game is near. Who's on your must playlist? It's already right there. Must play. And they shot off Reptar. Wait, where's Jenny? Didn't they also show off Jenny? Yeah, they shot off Jenny. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys for the next one, which is going to be another Skylander video. And if you do watch my Skylander videos too, leave down who you want to see next. And maybe I'll pick it from this video. I don't know. I still haven't picked the Skylander yet, who I'm going to do. So tell me now. Hope you guys have a great day. Make every day a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.